What is nice about the sessions is that they've tried to kind of include quite a lot of variety within a short time. So we've had Charu, for instance, maybe just spending a few minutes asking us to get involved in some dance movements while listening to some music. Last week we did a tiny bit of yoga, for instance, and Laura has been showing us how to do some three-dimensional art. With Hansworth, they didn't see us as elders or like teachers, somebody coming and literally put us all on the same platform. They really felt comfortable. It has culminated in four performances actually that have been shared. We've had the young people from Hansworth, we've had two groups of um, women from Roshni and also our Benny and the Grey Cats cast. It was great to see the joy <laughs> that the young people brought to that stage and I thought yeah everyone was really generous in, in sharing their work. The intention was really to show the, each group what the other had been doing. We all have journeys that we've taken and to share those stories together as part of Migration Matters Festival because it's obviously so apt with the festival itself. We partnered up with Maya Productions who are a performance organisation based in London and we worked with them last year on Migration Matters Festival so we thought it'd be good to extend that and look at working with a group of young people and a group of older people and that was really the premise. Let's try and get some stories from two generations and hopefully create some artwork. So we've been dramatising the ways we came here. We painted masks for the dance, the drama. We told our own stories. We could do it together and we like experience someone else's story yeah. from a different point of view. Yeah, I feel like all the things we did was really fun and like there's no favorite because we all did enjoy everything we did together. It's just I think the opportunity for them to, to share that experience, uh, which you don't really have in everyday life, it was nice to see when they realized how, how actually they have very similar experiences or they had such and such experience comparing to mine, so they could kind of share and compare, which was really good. The best bit is seeing young people who, at the very beginning, had no confidence whatsoever in COVID wearing masks. Um, and, and hair over their faces and not wanting to talk and not really opening up and as experienced today they were on stage performing in front of an audience that they've never met before so the incredible journey that they've been on just through confidence building and feeling safe to share their stories uh, it's been amazing just, just watching them today on the stage was like the best thing that you could see as a drama facilitator yeah we've just watched the showcase things from the Ignite group um, it was actually really, really amazing and really eye-opening to see when you hear about everyone else's different stories and different perspectives. Actually, migration is such an amazing thing and there's so many things to be celebrated in that. Seeing them on stage having so much fun like made us giggle as well and they were all giggling and dancing impromptu and playing with puppets and to see that playfulness alive, it's, it's just a wonderful feeling. And it's great to see that theatre and stories about migration are actually coming together and that we're actually making a more diverse place. I think today in this festival and watching those performances, it's a really true testament to that.